Hey, Sister Fear, welcome to my channel. It's Dr. Val. I'm so glad you're with me. I have a question for you today. Do you know the plan of God for your life? I mean, could you just tell me in one sentence, no more than two, what you, he has planned for you, what you're supposed to do in the earth? Or do you have questions like, why am I here? Why have you created me? What am I supposed to be doing? Well, if this is you, stay tuned. We're going to learn three ways that you can know for sure the plan of God for your life at any time in any season in your life. Welcome back, everybody. It's Dr. Val. I want to say thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, on these videos for my sister friends, we well, even on my channel in general, we concern ourselves with all things soul healing and soul health. And we do that through laughing, learning, and inspiration. So today we are talking about how to know the plan of God for your life. First, let me ask you this question. Have you ever been in this in a season where you just don't know what's going on? Like you like, Lord, what is happening? What are you doing? Hmm? Or you, you go one way and you assumed that that was the way you were supposed to go, but everything falls apart. Well, listen, you are not alone. You are in good company because myself and many others have found ourselves in seasons where we, we just like, Okay, what are we doing? But the one way, the one thing, the three things I'm going to teach you, but I'm talking about the one thing I'm going to tell you right now. The one way to absolutely guarantee that you know what God is doing and what the plan of his life is for you is to give him back his word concern. On you. So the first thing is you're going to pray and talk to him. And we're going to use Jeremiah 29, 11 as a scripture base for this. So you can use this when you're praying as well. And let's read that for those who are not familiar with that scripture. And this is the NIV version. It says, for I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. All right. So let's just break that down real quick. So God says he knows that he had the plans he has for you. And since he knows the plans he has for you, <coughs> and this might be like didn't obvious right now in this moment, then who should you obviously, obviously be talking to? God, because he knows the plans he has for you. So let's look at my iPhone. This is my iPhone. And let's just break this down to um, something real simple. If I'm having trouble with my iPhone, where do you think I should go to find out about my iPhone? Yep, the Apple Store, or they have quorums, the Apple website, I should say, or Apple Store. They have quorums that can answer questions, community pages that can answer questions. You could go to where you purchased your phone, but the primary way would be the Apple, the Apple Store or the Apple website that provides information about the Apple phone. And it's no different for you, sister friend. If you have a question about your life, the plans of God for your life, shouldn't you talk to the person who created you and so who and who just said that they know that the plan, the no tongue tied, they know the plans they have for you? God. So you should be talking to him. 
All right, let's get to number two. And at the end, we're going to put this all together. And I'm going to give you an example of what this look like, looks like. So after you talk to him, we're going to go ahead and go to Psalm 37, 5 and 7. And it says this, commit, give over, hand over your way, your journey, the way you're taking to the Lord. Trust also in him and he will bring it to pass. So after he's told, after he has told you what the plan of God, what his plan is for you, then you're going to commit that unto him. So like I said, I don't want to get in my head of myself. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then verse seven says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him and fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way. So we don't need the rest of that. The one part I want us to focus on is rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. So after you commit your way unto the Lord, then you have to rest. And so what God shared with me is that a lot of people are not, a lot of my sister friends are not resting. You do, you commit your way, but then you're anxious, you're fearful, you're dreadful, you don't have peace, you can't rest, you can't sleep because you are not waiting patiently for him and you're not resting in him. And listen to this, this word rest means this, to be silent, to be still, be still in him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, the third thing you have to do, sister friend, because we're coming back, we're going to put this all together. It says this, this is God talking. Obey me. This is Jeremiah 7, 23. Obey me and I will be your God and you will be my people. Walk in obedience to all I command you that it may go well with you. Hmm? Obey me. And I will be your God. You will be my people. Walk in obedience to all I command you that it may go well with you. Simple. So let's take it back to this, this iPhone. So Jeremiah 29, 11 for this iPhone. Let's just put it in natural terms. For I know the plans I have for you, plans for hope in the future, right? So God knows the plans he has for us. He knows what we should be doing. The Apple iStore, the Apple website knows how this phone is supposed to function. So I'm looking at the Apple, right? Whatever that is, wherever that is. Then it says in Psalm 37, commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. So give whatever your idea was over to the people who are helping you at iPhone. Well, you know, I tried to shut it down and then I even rebooted it and it didn't work. But then they're going to tell you something. And when they tell you something, you have to trust in them. From personalizing your lock screen photos to translating text using camera. Here are 10 helpful iPhone tips you should know. Right? What did it say? What does it say? And he will bring it to pass. Then it says this, rest in the Lord. So while they're talking to you, you can't stand up there and fidget and just moving all around. Oh, Lord, what are we going to do? My iPhone, my iPhone. No, you're going to be still and listen. And then what is said in Jeremiah 7, you're going to obey the voice of God. You're going to obey their voice. So what did they tell you to do? And that's what you're going to do. Now, simply, simply, sis, it looks just like this. So say I'm seeking God for this season of my life. And this season of my life is different than any other. I've never been here before. I know that there's supposed to be a change, right? But I don't know quite what the change looks like. So this is how Dr. Val would pray. And this is how I do pray. 
And let's get it back up here. Real simple. Dad, you said, you know the plans you have for me. Plans to prosper me and not harm me. <clears throat> plans to give me a hope and a future. So according to your word, Father, I commit my way unto you, that way that I think I should go, even the way that I don't even know that I'm going yet, or I'm even as I'm waiting for direction, and I trust in you because you're going to bring it to pass. I choose to rest in you, Lord, and I wait patiently on you, right? Because you're going to do what you said. Then we take it to Jeremiah 7. And as you have told me to obey you, I will obey you. And you've promised when I obey you that you are my God. And I would be your people. I am your daughter. I will, as an act of my will, walk in obedience unto you. And all that you have commanded me, and I have the promise that all will go well with me. And I receive that in Jesus' name. Amen. So listen. So say like, now I did a generic one. Like you don't know which way you're going, but say you have an idea. You want to start a business, right? You want to quit your job. You want to move out of state. You want to get married. You want to adopt children or have children, whatever. Choose something. Right there back in Jeremiah 29, 11, And even when you go to Psalms 37, says, Lord, you know the plans you have for me to prosper me and not harm me, to give me a hope and not a future. I mean, to give me hope and a future. And right here, right here it says, so I commit this idea of a business, of getting married, of having a baby, of quitting my job, of moving out of state unto you. I trust in you, right? And then I'm going to rest in you, Lord, as you show me what to do. Now, listen, I tell you, I can guarantee 100%. I can guarantee 100%. Now, you don't necessarily have to do this as prescribed, but if you do something like this, as you are talking to your father, you're seeking him and you're committing your way unto him and you're obeying his voice, I guarantee you, you're never going to miss the mark. You're going to walk in the plans of God for your life and you will fulfill purpose and destiny. And not only what he wants you to do, but what he will allow you to do, because he's going to give you the desires of your heart. Hmm. So homework time. So let's get on the homework time. This is normally longer than what I go, but that's OK. So homework is this. I always tell you to write. So these scriptures, one, you can write them down if you want. But nevertheless, write down the things that you want to do or the things that you're unsure about or the things that you have questions about. Write them down. And then begin to pray. You can pray about one thing at a time. You don't have to pray about everything. Just pray about one thing as a, at a time. And as God begins to reveal unto you and show you, then pray about the next thing. And just keep going through this process over and over daily, every day. Making sure you're staying lockstep with Holy Spirit and with God. Just that simple. And it takes a discipline. I say just that simple, but it's really a life of discipline to do that. And so if you struggle being disciplined, I know that this is going to take you a moment to do. For those who already walk in this place, I'm telling you, when you start doing this, you are going to hear clearly and you're going to know the plan of God for your life. All right, sis. All right, everybody. So thank you for joining me. If you found anything that I say or find anything that I say valuable, I want you to like, subscribe and share 
share with your other sister friends. Help me to get my voice out there. There are a myriad of other voices who are speaking. I want to be one that is a positive voice for our sister friends to help uplift and encourage and help push them into destiny. All right. So I want you to join me next week. Oh, by the way, I have over 500 videos, so feel free to watch anyone you want to watch, but still join me next week as we talk about there is more. So why are you settling? It is not meant for you to settle, sister friend. So I will see you Thursday back right here. But in the meantime, enjoy some of the other videos and have a great day. Bye.